Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concept classification of expenditure. Before we take up classification of expenditure, let us discuss the government budget. The government budget has two components or two accounts or divided into two budgets. One is revenue budget, another one is capital budget. Revenue budget has two component. One is revenue receipts, another one is revenue expenditure. Capital budget has two components, capital receipts and capital expenditure. Now we are going to discuss classification of expenditure. So in the government budget, you can see two types of classification of expenditure. One is revenue expenditure, another one is capital expenditure. Here you can see revenue expenditure has two types, planned revenue expenditure and non-planned revenue expenditure. Under capital expenditure, plan capital expenditure and non plan capital expenditure. Now let us discuss classification of expenditure. Dear students, now let us discuss classification of expenditure which is important for 6 marks. As already uh, we have seen the budget, government budget. Under that, there are two types of classification of expenditure. You can see here, classification of expenditure has two components. One is revenue expenditure, another one is capital expenditure. Revenue expenditure is further divided into planned revenue expenditure and non-planned revenue expenditure. Capital expenditure in the same way we have divided into two division. One is planned capital expenditure and non-planned capital expenditure. Now let us discuss revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure is the expenditure incurred for the purpose other than creation of physical or financial assets of the central government. So, it is an expenditure incurred for the purpose other than creation of physical or financial assets of the government. So, revenue expenditure is incurred not for creation of physical or financial assets which brings income to the government, which brings income to the government. So, it is an expenditure incurred on normal functioning of government department and various services. Revenue expenditure is an expenditure incurred in order to make an interest payment on debt incurred by the government. Central government will take a loan and it has to pay interest for taking a loan. So, that expenditure we call it as revenue expenditure. Sometimes central government will give grants to the state government that we call it as revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure has two types. One is planned revenue expenditure and non-planned revenue expenditure. Now let us discuss types of revenue expenditure. The first one is planned revenue expenditure. Planned revenue expenditure is the expenditure incurred on implementation of central five-year plans and central assistance to state and union territory plans. Next one is non-planned revenue expenditure. It is the main component under revenue expenditure. It covers a vast range of general economic and social services of central government. The first one is interest payment. Interest payment on market loans, external loans and from various reserve funds constitutes a the single largest component of non-planned revenue expenditure. So, here 
the interest payment made by central government on market loans external loans and from various reserve funds and it is the single largest component under non planned revenue expenditure next one is uh, defense service or defense expenditure in order to provide a national security it is very very important the next one you can consider subsidies there are two types of subsidy one is implicit subsidy here government is going to under pricing of public goods and services like subsidy on education and health and there will be a explicit subsidy on few items like export subsidy on export items and even you can consider interest on loans food and fertilizers such types of things we call it as explicit subsidy then salaries and pension all these comes under non planned revenue expenditure now let us discuss capital expenditure what is capital expenditure capital expenditure is the government expenditure which results in creation of physical or financial assets or reduction in financial liabilities so here you can see the expenditure of the government which results in creation of physical or financial assets or reduction in financial liabilities you can see expenditure capital expenditure includes expenditure on acquisition of land building machinery etc or you can consider investment in shares loans and advances by central government to state government and union territories or repayment of loans with interest if government is going to make a expenditure on acquisition of land building machinery then this we call it as creation of physical assets if government is making investment on shares are giving loans and advances by central government to state government or to union territories then we call it as creation of financial assets because when you buy shares it will also earn income and when you are going to give loans and advances then state government and union territories will repay the loan amount along with the interest so they are called as financial assets then repayment of loans with interest means this we call it as reduction in financial liabilities if government central government has taken a loan and now that loan is repaid along with the interest rate then we call it as this we call it as reduction in financial liability when you take a loan it becomes a liability so in future government need to repay this loan along with the interest but when it is repaying loan along with the interest then we call it as reduction in financial liabilities of the government this capital expenditure has two types one is plan capital expenditure another one is non plan capital expenditure under plan capital expenditure the plan capital expenditure is a expenditure incurred on implementation of central government plans and central assistance to state and to union territory plans as we discussed in a plan revenue expenditure similar way under capital expenditure also we have plan capital expenditure which is incurred to implement central government plans and central government assistance to state and union territory plans then come to non plan capital expenditure it is a expenditure incurred on general 
social and economic services of central government. Here you can see expenditure on education, expenditure on health, expenditure on agriculture, power development, etc. All these we call it as non-plan capital expenditure which creates assets and income earning assets. Dear students, classification of expenditure is important for 6 marks and you can make use of this notes. and get good marks. Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.